So this is the basic pond setup. Uh, we got some koi in there, various ages, nothing special. Also in there we got about 30 bluegill, they're babies. So eventually we're going to get rid of the koi and just go bluegills year round. Um, there's about five, four to five um, crawdads in there, but we really don't see them. Um, so that's just something we're playing with also. Um, at the bottom, uh, there's a 500 gallon uh, per hour pump uh, that's taking water from the bottom of the pond. And you can see the outlet um, down at the far end there for where the water is returning back into the pond. This is an overview of the whole system. So we have our pond over here, got it covered to minimize algae growth. Also keeps the pond cooler, limits some of the evaporation. Uh, you can see uh, the three original beds uh, in the background and the two newer beds here. Water flows out of the hose, out of the pump, uh, and up this pipe. Uh, from there, it divides uh, to the three original uh, beds. Also at the base, um, I have it going underground um, to the other two beds, uh, and it pops up over there. This was my first bed that I put here. And uh, originally, I had it draining uh, to this area right here where original pond was. Um, wasn't too happy with the size of it. Um, was nice, didn't get as much sun over here. But I also wanted to be able to sit um, you know, near the pond from uh, our, our patio, so I like this much better. Um, but this, basically the way this works now is um, I have a main outflow uh, leaving uh, the beds into this main pipe going back to the pond and I've just kind of hidden the pipes uh, Over here you can see the water coming into the bed and uh, We've got a lot of different things growing right now. Uh, we have some pumpkin. Uh, I just harvested a pumpkin out of here um, a couple of weeks ago nice little grasshopper there uh, we also have uh, a great plant. Uh, I took this from my dad's yard. It was dying and it seems to be recovering just fine, looking nice and healthy. Uh, we've got some nice strawberries growing in here also. Um, and you know this pond um, uses um, a drain and flow uh, kind of system, but I've set it to constant flood. Um, I could I could put a bell siphon over this. Uh, but it seems just having constant flood, things work just fine, water's flowing, and uh, everything seems really good, really happy um, in this bed. This bed doesn't get as much sun as some of the others, so I don't get as much growth out of this one. Two, and in here I have uh, a pipe. What I'm doing is I'm having it flow into this pipe, uh, and then the outflow is on either end uh, of the pipe, allows for more an equal spread of the water flowing in. I've got a lot more strawberries growing here. Here we also have a peach tree. Uh, you can see a peach growing right there. We also have another one of my dad's uh, grape, old grape vines. Um, and it too has decided it likes it and it's growing. This thing was as good as dead when it was going. Uh, it's also constant flood. And you can see it um, flowing out to the main pipe. You can see all the other pipes leading into the main pipe flowing back to the pond. Um, have a number of uh, beans that are starting to sprout up recently, so that's kind of neat. You can see the bean seeds kind of uh, tossed all over. And I like to just toss uh, uh, seeds straight in, uh, see what grows. Here we have pea pod that's getting going. All right, so this is my third bed. This is the one I'm most proud of because it's producing like crazy. And uh, we have a nice, real mature strawberry plant I need to break up. Um, I did it already. I've taken uh, this and broken it up into smaller bits and then it just starts to grow. And, uh, originally I had two grape vines growing out of here. One of them died. Uh, this one survived. And you can see it is doing just fine. You can see all the plants. Uh, a couple of areas 
Uh, birds did get into a, a couple of them, but hey, that's okay. That, that's that's fine if they take a few. But boy, things are growing like crazy. Uh, they're almost ripe. They're almost done. And you can see this plant has really grown quite a bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the other great plants when they grow. So this is the fourth bed. You can see I have it coming uh, from underground uh, up to, and I have, you know, each each bed I have a valve to adjust how much water flows, and it, it takes a little bit of work to get it all flowing correctly. Um, too much water and it overwhelms the system. Uh, too little water, you don't get enough plant life and things like that. And you can see I have a number of strawberries growing in here. Just transferred over. Uh, this is a blood orange tree. You can see the the orange is growing here. Uh, was really struggling in the in the drought here, and so I said, oh, let's go ahead and put it back into the system. This is a dwarf tree, so it won't get too big. Um, I also have uh, over here a blueberry tree. You can see some blueberries uh, right in there. Okay. Uh, we have some onions also growing in this. Uh, with this bed, this is a longer bed. You can kind of see it's a longer bed. It's a 70 gallon uh, tank. Um, not as rigid on the bottom. This that this needed a little bit more support um, than the others. And uh, I also went with smaller gravel. Um, that was just to make it easier to dig down to plant. I found that when I was digging in the in the bigger gravel, it was kind of ripping up my hands. And so I just like the smaller gravel. And the plants don't really seem to care too much. Um, with this one, I also had it set up on constant flood. Having constant flood allows for a lot more water to be in the whole system. So the larger amount of water you have going, the more stable the system tends to be. When from there, um, the pond is then have it going underground and then back to the pond and connecting to the pipe going out. Fifth and final bed. Uh, maybe I'll do more, who knows. And you can see I've just sort of stacked them on, on bricks. Uh, again, I went ahead and used the same 70 gallon. Um, this is Balin County, uh, Balin Country. Uh, and I like these. Again, not as stable, uh, but bigger. You can hold more stuff. And um, got a couple of different things going here. Got some uh, blackberries. Uh, just transferred over uh, these uh, to onions, so we'll see how they do. Um, we can see the strawberries are looking nice and happy. Um, looks like I need to adjust uh, my outflow, the uh, level uh, of my water on here. So that's something I got to uh, tinker with. Um, here we have another uh, apricot tree. Um, we have tomatoes kind of growing out of here. Pea pods, pea pods, and uh, some more tomatoes. You can see all oh, the tomatoes. I've been picking tomatoes off of here like crazy. And so this thing's been really good. I don't know why this side's going better than others, but it just, it's going really well. And so that's the whole system. Uh, that's all of it. Okay, and uh, it works really well.